UNO men's basketball announced the signing of another forward to help in the front court. UMKC transfer Josiah Alec is six foot eight, 240 pounds. He played the last three seasons with the Roos, where he played in 69 games, started in 50. This past season, Alec played in 17 games, starting in 16, where he averaged nearly 13 points and over six rebounds per game. He scored in double figures 11 times and came back from an injury. Lobos head coach Richard Patino released a statement in a press release saying, we set out this spring to add some physicality, some toughness, and some strength, and we feel like we have certainly done that again with Josiah. Last week, the Lobos announced the signing of Wichita State forward Morris Udeze. If he takes advantage of his COVID year, Alec will have two to play at New Mexico. UNL will not renew the contract of head softball coach Paula Congleton. Congleton, who also played for the Lobos, spent five seasons as head coach. Her best season was this past one as UNM went 26-27 and overall and finished 6-18 and in Mountain West play, which left them in last place in the league. Congleton compiled a 73-158 and record as head coach. She was 25-71 and in the Mountain West. UNM Athletic Director Eddie Nunez says he appreciated what Congleton did for the program, but to keep moving forward, a change was needed. A national search for a new coach is already underway. The Albuquerque Isotopes are in Salt Lake City for a six-game series starting tomorrow. Colorado Rockies third baseman Chris Bryant will join the Isotopes there for a rehab assignment. The 2016 National League MVP was placed on the 10-day injured list late last month due to a back injury. The Isotopes in Salt Lake will also be using the new ABS system tomorrow, where a computer calls balls and strikes. Day one of the NCAA Palm Beach Regional, the Lobo men's golf team is ninth among 14. Lobo senior Sam Choi tied for sixth on the individual leaderboard after a 271. Bastian Amat, the sophomore, tied for 22nd after a two over 74. Lobo top freshman Carson Heron had a first round 79. He has work to do to climb up the board. Lobo golf fans may remember his dad, Tim Heron, who had a very successful career as a Lobo in the early 90s. He played on the U.S. Walker Cup team and as a pro, also a four time PGA Tour winner. Lobo's head coach Glenn Milliken was a freshman when the elder Heron was a senior. Milliken says to coach Heron's son is special. That guy who I really looked up to um, as an upperclassman, you know, to have his son be on, on a team that I'm coaching is, um, that, that's just kind of a, I mean, all these guys are special, but that's just a, like kind of an extra, kind of on a personal side, kind of a neat deal. He was one of the best amateurs in the world when he left here, and then obviously he was one of the best professionals in the world. Milliken sees similarities in young Heron, but it's going to take Carson Heron some time to fill his dad's shoes. The freshman wasn't even really part of the lineup at the start of the season. But what impressed me the most with Carson this year is he handled a wide range of situations really well. He, um, you know, he was out of lineup in the fall for the most part. He played in, in Mirabelle, but, um, but he just he, he came to work and did his job every day. And then we had, an in, had a spot open up in our lineup from the fall because of an injury with Albert. And... Um, Carson got that spot and jumped right in and played, played well right away. Aaron's grandfather and great-grandfather were also professional golfers, runs in the family. More now from the New Mexico State coaches' caravan that rolled into the Duke last week. First-year head football coach Jerry Kill had his first spring with the Aggies last month. The position of quarterback is always important to the team, and coach says that if his team was playing today, former NMMI Broncos and Volcano Vista star Diego Pavia would be running the show. Pavia is coming off of a junior college national championship he won with the Broncos last year. He's one of those kids you know you look at and you try to figure out and all those things, and all he does is make plays and win. And, uh, you know, when you got to, you know, that's all you ask for a quarterback. A freshman recruit from Norman, Oklahoma, is expected to give Pavia a battle for the job in the fall, but coach says Pavia doesn't seem too worried about that and welcomes the challenge. He's got a chip on his shoulder because. And, you know, like he said to me, he goes, you know, nobody thinks I can do this. And then he also told me, anybody you bring in, I'm going to beat out anyway. So <laughs> I, like, I like a little quiet confidence. And uh, he's got a little confidence, got a little strut to him, and I like that. Aggies open the season at home against Nevada August 27th.